Wait, I can see through it? That's Eileen. Where did I put that damn broom? Oh. There it is. No, not that bunny. That's the bunny from Lakeside Amusement Park. In Silent Hill 3. What was that noise? That's what they wanted the broom for. Right, I guess they spilled something there, so they're cleaning it up. I can't say the name Eileen without thinking about the Midnight Dixie Runners song. Come on, Eileen. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. I have a memory that when I look back in here, the bunny is going to be looking at me. I'm sorry to spoil it, but I don't want to pretend that I don't know what's going to happen. Oh. Huh. I guess not yet. I'm sure it will. Later. Okay, I forgot that person's name, but they said, where'd you go? If you need a token, there's one here. Maybe they're calling me from one of the payphones. So let's go back out. I still love the prompt, enter the hole. Yes. Ugh. Some kind of mannequin. It's got a coin in its hand. Hmm. Lynch Street Line coin. Train token for the subway's Lynch Street Line can be used any number of times. Creepy. Sort of reminds me of Cynthia. Oh, so that was her name. Sort of reminds you of Cynthia? That is definitely Cynthia. I love how there's this back and forth. Like you're going over the... Going into the same environments many, many times, rapidly, and just little stuff is changing. Little stuff is changing. I keep hearing that sound in these bathrooms, but I never find anything. I guess I'll go check back here. Like, I think I hear it when I enter this one. Well, not anymore. It sounds like somebody dropping a broom. Like a light wooden broom handle bouncing off the ground. I really gotta get used to the new map.
Because normally in the other Silent Hills, if you press the button for the map like this, and then you want it to go away, then you just press the button for the map again. But here, if you press the map, the button for the map again, it goes to the scrapbook. That's why I keep accidentally doing that. That's King Street. This is Lynch Street, I assume. Um, I guess I have to, like, use it. Can't use this here? Oh, there we go. You get your hand out, out of me. You're inside of me. Mm. Oh, there's another one. Okay, okay. I, I think these might be indestructible. I think they maybe can't be killed. Actually. Who's that? Ugh. Oh, Cynthia. that oh god one's coming out of the wall can I like stop you from coming out of the wall oh no fuck them a uh, strange vending machine it says one eight on it part of a passcode one eight one eight one eight and also I think they hurt you just by being near you fucking creepy fucks my god One eight, one eight. That seems to be highlighting this door or something? Maybe not, I don't know. Fuck. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I'm freaking out. I'm just running to buy time. <laughs> Um, I think I'm going to go up the other side? Down the other side? There's some bad things over there. Oh shit. Shit! Uh, it's filled with some kind of weird stuff. <sighs> Take a break for a second. Right. Doesn't give me a lot of options. Back up or back down one of the ways. And I can't go down that way because it's blocked, so... <laughs> hmm. I think I need a save state. Just in case. I don't know how to help you. I have part of a code for something. Someone's come and get me out of here. Okay, well now I'm not being attacked by the floaty thing. Maybe it's gone? Gone, gone? So maybe I have time to actually look at the environment? Oh, there's a door here. Ah, oh, fuck. One 
1818181818181818 Yeah, it seems to be gone. Properly gone. This light really seems suggestive, like it's pointing right at the train. Oh! Why is it squishy? No, bad! Button here? Looks like the car's door is opened. Door shut tight, won't open at all. Wait, is that where I came in or is this? Okay, yeah. So now like all the doors are open? Yes. Oh, hey! Uh. I think we might want to get going. Are we safe here? Oh. Okay. Can't get past that. There's probably stuff on the train. Maybe something I need. What is c covering this train? It's gooey. It was just like the one. Oh, this one's open too. Okay. Shit. Oh, I can use that to get over there on the right. Yeah, there's something back there. Something colorful on the seat. point of going out here. I don't get it. Can't go in any of these doors. I really can't go in any of these? Oh, I can go back here. Right? No, I can go up here. Toy box here. It has 1,000 and then that same symbol written on it. Right, what was written on the vending machine was one of that symbol. It's locked and I can't open it. Uh... A thousand... What? So it wants like a thousand of some sort of currency? And the vending machine needs one of some sort of currency? Or something? I don't quite understand what that means. Don't suppose I can, uh... Use a coin on it? Use my chocolate milk on it. <laughs> okay. What the hell? What is that? I think this might be mannequin parts. Yeah, they are. This train is very confusing. So I can go forwards, but I want to see if I can go to the side. I can't. Can I go to the left? I can't. Okay. This train is like a maze. Look at how the hooks are like connected into this jelly stuff. Man, not only can you hear when you're near those floating people, but you can feel it rumbling in the controller, too. Okay, I can go to the left. Guess I have to. Where are we going? Where am I now? I'm like working my way back on the second train car, sorta. I don't know, I'm just going back and forth. Oh, 
now, now I'm finally on the other platform. Okay, uh... I want to know it's this way. Sorry, Cynthia. Is there anything here at all? We're just bad times. I guess just bad times. I'm doing pretty bad on health. Oh, fuck, there's more. Fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. Alright, this vending machine doesn't have anything written on it. Ooh. Good place? Good place. Sorta. Did Cynthia... Cynthia didn't come with me. So is my goal? Is my goal when I set out each time to find this hole to come back to the room? I'm assuming this is going to take me back to my room. It's a ladder. Should I go down? Oh, God. Back to the room or down the ladder or... Cynthia? Fuck. I'm gonna try going up here. Where does this go? Oh, up here so I can finally get this ammo. No, don't look at the rubble. Get the ammo. I'm not gonna use it against those things though. Pretty sure there's no point. Monster design so far for this game is really good. Yeah, so we've seen three. We've seen three different types of monsters. We've seen the dog puma things with uh, tentacles that suck blood. Those are creepy as hell. Uh, we've seen those floating people. Those are creepy as hell. Just their zombie-like stance, the way they look like they're just like they're not just being. F they're not just floating, but. They look, I don't know, like ragdolls almost. Like ragdolls being pushed remotely as if they don't have their own... Um, almost as if they're just like pawns of something else that's actually animating them. And then, it's not really an enemy, but there's that weird worm thing. Let's do another save state. Um, I'm going to go down here. What the fuck? this flesh or rust? That's a very good walking sound. I love that. What is that? I can hear it, but I sure can't see it. Oh, fuck. Bonus ammo, thank you. It's unlocked. Oh, is this a shortcut of some sort? It is. Nice. Okay. I want to reload my pistol, even though I'm not going to use it right now. Got another pathway to try down here. As much as I don't want to. Oh, these camera angles are brilliant.
Ugh. Oh fuck, there's more of the worm. To try to save ammo, but that might be a horrible idea. Okay, what am I doing? No, forget it. I'm like one hit away from dying. Whoa, are there actually, like, body physics? There kinda are. They're not really ragdoll, but the limbs did move. Huh. I wonder if this game doesn't have healing items at all, and maybe you only heal when you go back to your room. Oh, oh, that's, oh yeah, that's the head of the worm. You can see it flopping around there. Uh, I'm worried it's gonna kill me. Henry, I found the exit. Come to the turnstile. Henry, I found the exit. Come to the turnstile. Oh. Hurry! Hurry! Ah. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't bother fighting. Sounds like we kind of just need to run. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh. Yeah, that happens. Ugh. <laughs> it's one hell of a death scream. Okay, let's do this again, but this time, let's use a gun. Yeah, if you get to him fast, you can save a lot of ammo. Uh... Oh, there we go. Because if they get back up again, it takes another, like, two or three shots. Henry, I found the exit. Come to the turnstile. Henry, I found the exit. Come to the turnstile. Hurry! Woo, we're Henry. fast. <laughs> Jesus Christ, there's a lot of them. Oh, this is bad. Oh, I'm gonna die. Wait, but there's a- there's a golf driver here! I wanted a golf driver. Oh, I want that golf driver. Wait, what's that? Nutrition drink! So we can't drink the, the chocolate milk. Nutrition drink is still in the game. Okay, well, maybe I can get the call driver if I use this. Heals your body with supplemental nutrition. B vitamins to heal those dog wound bites. I mean, they're not really dog wounds. They're like tentacle suckers. Okay, pretty good. Pretty good. I'm going to have to waste a lot of ammo, but you know what? For a golf driver, I'll take it. Yes, Henry. Perfect. Th thank you. Sorry, doggies, slash pumas. It's a golf club, looks like a nine iron. Take the nine iron, hell yeah. I bet it's a terrible weapon. Um, oh, actually it says powerful and easy to use, but it looks like it could break easily. I wonder if it's an actual health system where the health gradually goes down as you use it or if it's just like a random chance to break or something. Oh. 
Uh, there's a handle missing from this projection. It should act as a key. Through the driver's seat window, I can see light coming in from the side of the tunnel. Yeah, you pretty much have to fight those dogs, because you got to go out the way you came in. So you're going to be taking hits all the way there to the golf driver and all the way back. Actually, speaking of, I've only got two shots left. I might as well just go for the golf driver right now, huh? I shouldn't take damage if I don't hit anything, right? Aw, oh, I'm sad that the strong attack isn't, like, actually trying to hit a golf ball on the ground. <laughs> it's ridiculous that I have this. This is a ridiculous weapon. What the hell are those things in and around the cages? Now that I've killed everything, I guess I might as well look around for resources before I leave. Oh, hey. It's that hole back to the apartment. It keeps offering me multiple ways to go. Right? Like back there, I could either go down the ladder or into the hole. And now I could either go into the hole or I can go up these escalators, which I think is where, uh... What was her name? Cynthia? Cynthia wants me to go? <sighs> I'm gonna go up. Oh no. No, I've seen this. I've, I've seen this in, uh, I think a speed run. I think it was a speed run. I definitely haven't played this section, but I've seen things coming out of the wall trying to grab you and doing damage to you. This might be really bad, because I don't think there's really much I can do to avoid it. We'll see. Oh, fuck. Okay, maybe I can't avoid it. Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, I tried to turn around, but... He can't stop very quickly. Oh, fuck. Whoa! Some serious power. No! That's a bad place. Hope I don't have to ever ride that escalator again. No, don't tell me. Are you coming from the- fuck. Uh, there's a door over that way though. Where do I want to go? I guess I'll go up here. Exit. I can go back down the exit, right? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Am I back up here? I'm just- I'm back up here. Okay, that's where they wanted me to go, right? Come to the exit. Hurry. It's... him. Who's him? Uh, oops. One sec. Save state. Let's check that other direction, huh? Oh. Hufferin' dude's gone. Ew, squishy ground. Alright, cool. That was it. Oh, no. Uh... I... Th think, uh, Cynthia's been attacked. Women's makeup items are scattered on the ground. These must be Cynthia's. There's the plate on the door. Remove the plate? Yes. Temptation placard. Temptation? Uh, from Subway World. <laughs> Apparently that's the name of this quote-unquote dream or whatever. Sh shows a woman <clears throat> and says, Temptation.
Cynthia? Ah, oh, fuck. Jesus Christ. Are you okay? <laughs> no, obviously not. It's just a dream, right? drank too much last night. Uh, I never got to do that special favor for you. Uh, I, I feel like I'm dying. Cynthia? Man, what's that noise out there? I have a lot to say. Let's look out the window while I say it. Can we see the- oh yeah. The ambulance and a police car near the subway entrance. Is it Cynthia? Probably, yeah. Anything changed about the people around here? Doing some new stuff in the windows? Okay, yeah, um... So wow, that was a- that was like a whole confluence of things that I didn't like. That was a lot of really gendered violence. Um... So, first we have Cynthia, who obviously died, was murdered horribly. Just blood splatters everywhere. And then, immediately before finding them, we find the, a temptation placard. Picture of a woman on it, something about temptation. Then we find the dying Cynthia. Um, and then they say, it's too bad that I have to die and I didn't get a chance to fuck you. Uh, and then they have a passcode um, carved into their breast. Overall, that was just a combination of a th bunch of things that I really didn't like. Huh. Oh, I want to check something. 
I want to see if there's any way for Cynthia to stay alive. Probably not. It feel it felt pretty like integral to the story, but they they did say come fast. He's here. So maybe if I was faster and didn't go for the golf club, they would have survived. Let me check. Yeah, it looks like they always die no matter what. I'm looking at the Silent Hill wiki. Um, <laughs> I love that for Cynthia, it lists their status as deceased slash ghost. That just feels appropriate. Yeah, so just to give a little bit of context, something that I suspected. Remember Cynthia said, um, like, hurry, he's here. He. Um, and I remember seeing something about a name, Walter Sullivan, in the Wikipedia article for this game. I didn't read too much of it, but I just saw it mentioned and something about them maybe being a murderer, I think. And this kind of, well, seals that idea. Um, it says, Cynthia becomes trapped in Walter Sullivan's Subway Other World. I guess this other world is somehow made by Walter Sullivan. I don't know. Um, she's later murdered at the, as the 16th Sacrament Temptation. So... To give some context to why they died, I guess a killer slash serial killer, Walter Sullivan, is the one who killed her and um, left that placard, the temptation thing, and also carved the number into them, uh, I guess, to taunt me or something. I don't know. I'm trying to play their, like, maybe they want me to play their sick game or something. It seems to be the work of a serial killer. Also, Walter Sullivan. The message on the inside of my door was written by Walter. So the killer locked me in here and told me not to leave? That's a little worrisome. Anyway, all the context I said doesn't make that whole scene not gross. It still is super gross, but at least I understand it a little better. Hurry up and get that ambulance! Quit yapping and move her already! She's got numbers carved into her chest. I wonder if... Was hearing the detectives. And now the news. Yesterday, Wally the Walrus, a longtime resident of the Springfield Zoo, gave birth to a healthy baby walrus pup named Buttercup. Aww. Mother and child are doing just fine. That's wonderful. Bought these books with me, uh, brought these books with me when I moved here, but I don't read them anyway. Haven't saved in forever. Just think of how tense all that would have been if I didn't load my save states. I hadn't saved in a very long time going up that escalator and fighting those dogs. Makes me wonder if maybe I shouldn't have floated a safe state. Eh. No, it's fine. It's fine. Oh, yeah. Let's check on the status of that bunny, huh? I'm just waiting for something to happen. Still not yet, wow. Maybe it just doesn't happen and I remembered wrong. God, there's really something so creepy about this. This really is a whole different angle of creepiness in Silent Hill, the being trapped in your apartment thing. Like, I mean, I... 
I dug a hole, sort of, like, took chunks out of the wall to be able just to barely peer into a neighbor's apartment, but somehow I still can't even get their attention. Like, just desperate. I can't open the windows, pound on the windows, nothing works. I try to call people, doesn't work. The TV won't turn on. Just such a weird claustrophobic nightmare. Oh, hey. Scrap of red paper stuck in here. It's not covered in blood, is it? Although the cult itself is gone, I'm sure the spirit of it is still alive. There are too many strange things happening in that town. I'm investigating two people. Or maybe I should say just one. I've just about discovered what's going on. April 8th. Red Diary, April 8th in your scrapbook. Yeah, so even though we're not in Silent Hill, we're near Silent Hill, we've visited Silent Hill, and this is talking about the cult from Silent Hill. Given that we're only half a day's journey from Silent Hill, I wonder if some of the cult members or some of the influence of the cult or Silent Hill has come here. The hole's getting bigger. Oh. Outside now? You really don't know where the hole's gonna take you on any given day. This is obviously. I mean, it doesn't make any sense. It made some. vague, barely sense that I ended up on an escalator. At least the escalator was in the same building? Maybe? Possibly? Or below our building? But this. Go through a hole and then we just wake up somewhere like we. Fell asleep. Alright, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So far, that one gross moment aside, I'm really liking this game. It's super intriguing. It's just refreshingly different from Silent Hill 1 and 2. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon. <laughs>